Hi Virgo, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. If you have... Um, I would also like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So uh, this week when I went into my intuition for Virgo what I actually saw was a, a present box um, only it wasn't wrapped in bright coloured paper or anything like that it was just wrapped in you know like the really simple brown paper and it had like a, a pretty string bow on it and you know I guess the message from that is uh, it, you know it's kind of like that saying a rose by any by any other name is still as sweet if a gift comes to you this week and it's not wrapped in the shiny paper and all the rest of it are you going to refuse it just because it doesn't look as pretty as some people wrap their gifts uh, very often the gifts that we receive it's not about the way that they look it's not about the, the packaging it's about what's inside and this week that's the message for you this week you are being given a gift you are being given a present of some sort possibly from a person possibly from the universe and the message is really simple uh, you know, like that whole thing about don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge the book by the packaging that it comes, the, the present, the, the pack by the packaging that it comes in this week. If something is offered to you and it's, it seems like a gift, take it that way and don't take it at face value. Look deeper into it because the chances are what you see once it's opened or the way uh, that, it, or what it is once it's unpacked will be a lot lighter and brighter than you imagine. So um, I would like to have a look at your cards this week. Your destiny card for the week ahead is the death card. Interesting, because Leo got this as well, right? Uh, and this is about endings. It's about culminations. It's about completions. But because you've got the present there, you've got this gift, I really kind of feel like it's almost like this is a blessing in disguise. Something this week is either leaving or ending in your life. And I kind of, you know, usually when something goes away or it ends or, you know, it leaves, we're always like, oh, you know, because as human beings, we don't really like change too much, um, even though you're a mutable sign. <laughs> but what is important this week is it's going to be that blessing in disguise energy. Whatever it is, whoever it is that leaves your life this week, it's a blessing, right? Let it go. Let it go with open hands and open arms. This is not a week to hold on to anything. So let's see what the context might be. What might it pertain to? This week you get the Ace of Pentacles, right? So it could be something that you have been paying money into, something that you've bought. So, you know, maybe you're paying the last payment down on something. That would be, you know, it's, it's a small thing. Uh, and you might think, oh, well, you know, it's not really a gift, but it is because then you've got more money in your pocket, right? Um, the Ace of Pentacles is about new beginnings. For some of you, this relates to jobs. It relates to job interviews. It relates to promotions. Now, if you are in line for a promotion or you thought you were going to get one, if this week you find out that's not going to happen, before you think, oh, that's crap, hold back because when you see what comes after it you might be very very surprised as an example um when you find out that actually you're not going to be put forward for that promotion after all you probably just think oh you know i've lost out on money uh, when they show you what you would have had to do for that extra money and the amount of extra responsibility and stuff that comes from it you might think to yourself actually you know what I kind of dodged a bullet there and it really is that feeling this week so the blessing the present the gift that comes to you it's going to be a blessing in disguise so whatever it is that you thought you were in line for this week that you don't get just hold on before you think oh that's crap i was you know i was expecting that or i wanted it or i was waiting for it just wait to see what it might have actually been for you and then you'll be like okay yeah i'm kind of glad that didn't happen then you've got the king of pentacles right uh, as your insight card your accomplishments your achievements and the height of your status and where it is that you're going in the world 
uh, where it is that your life and your path are going to take you are unaffected by this event. You are always going to be seen as uh, the bright spark that you are. You're always going to be well received. You are already heading towards your own idea, uh, not idea, your own uh, success, whatever it is that, you know, the universe has ordained for you, so to speak. It's not reliant on anyone or anything else outside of you. So just trust that. I guess what I'm saying is no matter what it is that comes to an end this week, no matter what it is that leaves your life or something that doesn't shape up for you, it doesn't affect how successful you're going to be. It doesn't affect where it is that you go from here. Just trust that um, what is for you is going to make its way to you regardless. All right. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up for you. Take care. I'll see you soon.